In his book, uh, The Souls of Black Folk, W.B. Du Bois says, Black Americans live behind a veil. But he also says that the arts can reach out from behind that veil to reveal moments of reality. He used poetry, musical rhythms and sounds, narratives and essays to give people an opportunity to hear what he has heard of the strivings of the souls of black folk. While many people talk of the importance of dialogue, today I want to stress the primary importance of listening. We can't fully hear if our attention is on our response. And too often, that is what we feel is our responsibility or is our part of a dialogue. Think about my response before I hear. With the arts, we are more ready to see that our responsibility and enjoyment both center in our seeing, hearing, feeling, maybe even understanding whatever work is presented to us. When we do, we are striving to hear the souls of the artist or the work as the soul is expressed from inside the work we are experiencing. For me, listening to artists' strivings takes me to holy ground. I can find holy ground in lots of places. As we turn towards reflection time in the service, think of the people whom you think have listened to the strivings of your soul. Or by the same token, think of the people whom you think you have listened to the strivings of their soul. Mm.